Hey everyone, Kim here with Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me for another Mystery Mystic Monday. I know we're a little early, but I was called to do a reading for Cassie Carley. And Cassie, <sighs> Cassie is a 37-year-old mom of a sweet little girl. And she was last seen or heard from on March 27th. And that was earlier this week. I'm recording this video on Friday, April 1st, 2022. And to date, they have not found Cassie yet. And, you know, time is of the essence when you're talking about disappearances. And especially when it's suspicious circumstances surrounding a person's disappearance. So I'm called to do this reading now. I am first exploring um, the energies surrounding what happened to her in those moments leading up to her disappearance. So this is what part one is about. This is our usual Mildred Payne secret pocket oracle reading that we do. Part two is going to go into the tarot and oracle reading, just delving further into what happened, what transpired, what led up to her disappearance. And then part three, and part three may not even be necessary because it's my hope that at the time that I record part three, that we won't need to even in you know explore that okay because part three is going to look at landmarks more information about her state of being where is she located um, information on how can she be found that is where we're going to delve into that as part three and I haven't recorded part three yet because it's my hope that over the weekend that she'll be found. All right, guys, let's get into this Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle and let's say a prayer for Cassie, a prayer for her family and a prayer that she has returned home soon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into Cassie Carly's reading. All right, so we're going to first work with the Mildred Payne's Secret Pocket Oracle. So as we do, Spirit, we're coming to you for your divine guidance, your divine prophecy, your divine grace, and your divine insights, and most of all, your divine protection as we delve into the energy surrounding the disappearance of Cassie Carly spirit please shed some insights on who she is as a person on who she, who she was dealing with on the day of her disappearance maybe what has happened to her okay sorry I had to fix my okay poison so we got Saturn poison ear and I'll tell you why the ear has some significance to me in a moment there's a couple of reasons okay mm. okay um, let's get started we got Saturn all right I'll zoom in in just a moment poison ear moth and hag okay got that all right so i shuffled this deck really good you guys and it's always upsetting when we're doing these disappearance readings and you see some 
cards that consistently pop up, let me tell you, okay? Like the Hag card, for example. So the first card that we got, I hope you guys can see it. Let me zoom in so you can see it more clearly. And sorry for the glare. Let me turn the light around so you don't see the glare as much. Towards me. I still can see the glare on that hat card. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we got Saturn. Saturn is about adversity. Okay, it is about hardships. It represents male sexuality or dominance, authority and control. Someone in Cassie's inner circle, someone very close to her, trying to exert male control, male dominance over her, trying to control many aspects of a situation. We know and understand that she was a part of a custody dispute over her sweet daughter. Okay, so we understand that she had been going through that. And that this person may, they just never would let her forget that he holds all the cards, this male influence, this male dominance. He holds all the cards in the situation. He holds all the control. Only people will believe him. He's the more fit one. He he is he's exerting control. Now, could this be her ex? Sure. Could it be someone she may have been dating? Uh, perhaps. You know. So I'm going to try to keep an open mind as I do this reading. But um, you know, it's really concerning to see this type of card in such a reading because it's saying that someone in her life wanted to exert some level of dominance over her, some control over every aspect of how they interacted and how they dealt with one another. So, I mean, sure, it could be, it could totally be somebody else, but because she's the most stressful thing from what I could gather in reading the news reports is that she was um, dealing in a custody dispute the, the closest person to her that would probably be causing all of this heartache and strife is probably the person that she was coming up against in this dispute. We got the poison card. Okay, so poison card number 45 is dealing with accepting some harmful behaviors, accepting something harmful, consuming something harmful. Okay, it literally could mean a poison entering your body or a poisonous toxic situation okay um the card also points to self-destruction maybe not necessarily cassie but someone close to her someone around her on a self-destructive path whether they know it or not Toxic, a toxic environment, a toxic situation. It was growing more and more toxic as the days go by. Somebody wanting to poison her, poison her physical being, poison her mind, poison her emotional well-being. Just toxicity all around. And of course, when you're dealing with male dominance and male control and that kind of level of adversity, it's naturally a toxic situation here. Okay, naturally a toxic situation. So then we deal with the ear card. And I want to talk to you guys more about this ear card, okay? So in part of my pre-reading that I did for Cassie, I asked, I, I always like to just sit with the energies you know, tap into what she may have been feeling, the, the last memories that she had. I, I felt a strong rate, like a ringing in the ear, ringing in the ear. I, f I heard lots of like raised voices. I tasted blood in my mouth. 
Now, this could be her biting down or, you know, accidentally biting on her tongue or biting her lip. Or, you know, you get so frustrated and so mad, you, you know, you, you get biting mad, right? And you can taste, you can taste it in your mouth. But the ringing of the ear is concerning to me. The ear card signifies hearing things. And what concerns me is that maybe her child heard some things, bore witness to listening to these raised voices, to the arguing, okay? Listening to others is one of the key phrases to this card, the ear card. And being aware of situations. This could be Cassie being aware that this was a, a combustible poison situation she found herself in. Okay. She was in a combustible poisonous situation. But someone heard. I'm willing to bet her daughter heard what transpired. Okay. Also, it could be a witness who heard the arguing. There was a lot of arguing, raised voices, cursing, just really poisonous words. And that ringing of the ears, I cannot escape. I'm just going to tell you guys that now. I can even hear it now. It's loud, like a slap. Someone being slapped. Could it have been her slapping him? Could it have been him slapping her? Could it, they have been both fighting? Perhaps. They being either her ex or someone close to her, exerting their male dominance over her. Hmm. Moth card. Some of the key meanings and key phrases to the moth card is transformation. Being hopelessly attracted to something or someone. It could also mean a clingy person. And then the hag card. The hag card is one that we've seen from time to time, haven't we, friends? We've seen this card before. This card is about fears. That's one of the key phrases to it. Fears. Nightmares, a nightmarish situation, and bizarre or malicious encounters. Now, what I will say is this. I know that um, there were texts coming from her phone saying that she was having car trouble, um, then phone trouble, and that her ex was working on her car. Could somebody have, you know, crossed their paths and caused some harm to her? And maybe it's not her ex? Perhaps. But when you're looking at all of this in totality, when you're looking at all of this in, in its totality here, this is picking, this is telling me that this is someone who over time built this sense of control, this poisonous, toxic situation. Someone who did this over a, a long period of time. This is not, I mean, you can, you can have bizarre and malicious encounters in, you know, one felt moment, right? You certainly can. But you see that transformation card? This is something that had transformed. You know, the moth card is not, you know, when you are transforming as a butterfly or a moth, this is not something that happens just overnight. You have one state of being, then you go through a cocoon period, and then you emerge, right? This is a process. This is not something that happened overnight. So Spirit is giving us information about the, the moments leading up to her, to whatever happened to her, okay? We know that she's not here. We know that she's disappeared. That is something that's known, right? But this is giving the energy surrounding what led up immediately before she disappeared. The moth card is also concerning to me because it's, you know, it's about a sense of transformation going from one state of being to another. 
And we know what that means. It could mean that she may have crossed over due to this malicious encounter, this bizarre encounter. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on energetically here. We're now going to go ahead and ask a few questions with the tarot and the oracle. I'll be right back. 